Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are analyzing this beam problem and our goal is to calculate the shear and bending moment diagrams as well as the reaction forces acting on these two supports. At the end, we will compare the results against the hand calculations. So if you notice, this uh, beam is divided into three sections, so five inches up to that support and then 15 inches in between and then another five inches. So this is exactly how we are going to model this in the in SOLIDWORKS. So we're creating three lines uh, with these dimensions. And the reason for that is because SOLIDWORKS creates joints at those locations so we can use them to locate the forces and the support. So let's begin. So let's create a new part. Units are in inches, so make sure uh, your units are in inches. So let's take the front plane and create the the overall length of the of the beam. So the first section is this is five inches. The last section is also five inches, and the middle portion this is uh, 15 inches. So we have the overall length. So now we are going to be using the weldment tab so if you don't have that you can just right click and then under tabs uh, check mark the uh, the uh, weldments so on the weldment select structural members and this step is not um, it's not very critical you can select any any rectangular tube size um, and then under groups you just select the three lines that we just created hit OK and the reason this is not um, important is because we're going to change the shape of the of the beam. So if you let's look back on this. So the cross sectional uh, shape is three quarters by two inches. So let's make that. So double click on the rectangular tube and then under sketch, you can just right click and edit sketch. So we're going to delete all this because this is not the shape that we want for this particular problem so let's create a center rectangle and let's provide some dimensions this is three quarters of an inch and this is two inches so now we have our cross section required cross section so if you notice this beam is uh, flat on the so we need to rotate that so let's go back to the sketch and then under settings you can make this 90 degrees and it'll rotate for us so we have the beam um, created so now we are ready to go to the simulation to create these uh, diagrams so under simulation if you don't have that simulation you can right click and under tabs um, you can activate the simulation tab so under simulation let's create a new study we can rename this as however you want so we can rename this beam analysis hit okay so the first thing we have to do is apply a material to create the shear and bending moment diagrams a material is not required however SOLIDWORKS um, is not going to run the analysis if you don't have the material assigned so that's the first thing we'll do uh, under fixtures we're going to create the supports that we have on the problem so we're going to create now these two supports at five inches and at 20 inches from from the origin so if you notice we already have those joints so this is one support will be here and the other support will be right here so right here we'll, we're going to use the geometry uh, reference geometry so we're going to select the first joint for this support and then the reference will take the top plane and we are going to constrain the the translation on the on the y and on the z direction so you just click on those two and uh, if you want to make this the symbol bigger you can make that 500 so you can see what exactly what i did so this is the support so that's our first support now let's apply another support on this location so we'll do the same thing so 
click on reference geometry and then select the joint for the location and then um, let's take the top plane for the reference and we'll do the same constrain the translation against the y direction and also the c direction and let's make that symbol bigger so we know exactly what we're doing there you have the supports so now we we need to apply these two loads uh, 3000 pound force is at the same location as the support and then the 1000 pound is overhanging um, at the end of the beam so under external loads right click select force and then since we're going to use the joints for the location select joints here and then pick the first force location again we'll use the top plane as a reference the units are in uh, pound force and we want that force normal to that plane uh, this pound, this uh, force is 3000 pounds uh, if you notice you don't see anything you don't see any symbol for that so probably we need to increase this number so there you have it so the force is acting on the opposite direction so you can just click on reverse and that's our first force um, for the second force right click select force now uh, select on joint now we'll select the other joint at the end of the beam which is this one here again we'll use the top plane as our reference change this to uh, pound force and the force will be acting normal to that plane that we just selected and this one is 1000 pounds again we don't see um, the symbol so we can make it bigger and is uh, is acting on the opposite direction so we can just reverse that direction now hit okay so we we have pretty much uh, set up the beam for the calculation so now we can just run this study uh, SOLIDWORKS is gonna create the mesh and run the calculation for us so this is our solution so the first thing um, we're just gonna right click on results and then we are going to define beam diagrams this is where the shear and bending moment diagrams are located so shear force on direction one let's select the right units and um, under charge options we can change the uh the formatting a little bit we can put this on floating and hit okay so this is our um our, our shear diagram so let me put it that so this is our shear diagram um we can see uh 1000 pound force uh maximum and then 333 on this section here so now let's bring the um let's bring the the bending moment diagram so we'll select now moment about direction two select the the unit and chart options select floating so we can read these numbers more easily so this is our bending moment diagram so um lastly we need to uh, so we'll leave the reaction forces at the end so let's let's split this up so we can see um the two So we have the two uh, diagrams. So now let's compare that to uh, the hand calculation. So if you see here, um, for the shear diagram, we have 1,000 pounds and 333 pounds for the negative direction. So this is exactly what we have here. So 333 and 1,000 pounds. And now let's compare to the 
bending moment. So the bending moment, there is a maximum bending moment of 5,000 pounds force per inch right here. Let's see how much we have. And this is exactly 5,000 pounds right here. So the, uh, the results are exactly the same. So finally, we need to create uh, or list the reaction forces at the at these two locations so for that we can just right click on results and then list result force okay so um so we can exit from here and let's uh, go back to uh single view as before so right click again and then um list result force uh we have selected the reaction force and uh, we need to select the the joints where we want these reactions uh, to be calculated so the first will be this joint and second joint so now we can hit update so the units are in newton so we can um, change that to pound force and at this location we are getting 2,600 uh, pound force and at this location, 1,333 pound force. So let's compare that to our calculated value. So 2,600 and 1,333 pound force. And that's exactly what we got with the simulation in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, and this concludes uh, this tutorial. Thank you for watching.